everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I wanted to go over here tracking if you were a beginner trader and traded my system using options for the Gap Options newsletter in the last week. It was a 93% win ratio. This is an average risk of $600. We're going to go over all the trades for the last week. Um, you would have made $6,640 as a beginner trader. And beginner meaning you're new. And again, with a, with a lower end risk of around 600 bucks. So again, you don't have to risk $600 per trade. Um, you can risk less, you can risk more, okay? It has to do with how much money you have in your account. Options are not based on margin though. So it is based on the cost of the position, based on the cash cost, okay? Which we're gonna go over here. Anyways, you can watch me in Fox Business and Fox News, and if you'd like more information and you're interested in signing up for my course, you can email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com, and you can call me if you have questions at 929-3200-GAP, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. It's really about making money, whether you're doing the day trading or the options trading, using this one strategy, which is the only thing that I use for all the trade calls, everything, all of them, the way I read the market too, it's based on my Golden Gap rating system. That is how I know. So anyways, going back here, beginning of this past week was the Apple puts 177.50. And again, just showing you here, you could still be in this trade to be honest with you. Um, but if you took it, cost three, two contracts, risk 600, sold 420, you would have made 240 bucks. Again, it's about chunking it out chunking it out, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, okay? So you take it one day and you get out. Take it one day, get out the next day, when you're up. You get out when you're up when you have a small account. I think that's the most important thing. When you have a small trading account, I don't care if it's options, I don't care if it's day trades, you need to book profits. And you need to book profits faster than if you have a, a larger account. Anyways, then the next one here was also the 28th. Another beautiful cost, buy puts 282. This one expired Friday. Nice move in here. Followed through, gap down, cost was less, 175. You could have taken three. Risk 525, sold 420, profit 735. So that's a nice profit, a nice profit for a risk of $525. That's more than 100%, almost 150% profit, again, within a 24 hour period also called the diamonds, 255 puts. These are all shorts, okay? So you're buying the put. This is an option, you put the order in. Again, market gap down. This was through Friday, 525, cost 175, three contracts, sold 450, 855 profit. Again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade. More than 150% return on investment. Again, very quickly. QQQs, again, called the puts, 177, expired Friday, risk 648 contracts. This was, these were cheap. This is a beautiful, beautiful trade. Uh, sold 230, $1,200. So 200% return on investment in one trade that only cost you $640. If you did it, you could have made $1,200. I mean, do you see how you can take a small account and really turn it around and flip it over, over, over. So you're taking your money and you're using it and you're getting out. Then you're taking another trade and you're making the money, then you're using it, then you're getting out. And that's really the way to do it, to grow your account if that's what you wanna do. I have a lot of beginners now in the, on the options letter and in the trading room too. People are just on the class and they're doing very well uh, because they are booking the profits. Um, I have one lady that has basically taken a $2,500 account and she made more than $2,000. I think she made $2,100 or $2,200 last week. Um, she did not do all the trades. She did a couple of the trades, but she literally almost doubled her account in one week's time, and that's fantastic. And that's, that's what I wanna see people doing. I wanna see people getting involved, taking the trades, of following the system. So then I called on Wednesday the 29th. Again, another put, diamond puts, 250, six, seven expiration. You could still be in this. Uh, the market looks lower even Friday into the close. Cost 220, three contracts with 660 risk, sold three. But again, if you have a small account, you take it, book it, take it, book it, take it, book it. Profit 240. Another nice move. 278 puts 67. Again, you could still be in this too. 
cost 225, three contracts cost you 675. If you have a beginner risk, sold 360, profit 405. Again, really nice move. Really nice move. And it's fast and it's quick. BA puts was another good one. Expired Friday, 560, cost the contracts 280, two contracts, sold five. This was a really nice trade too. 440 profit. Again, risk 560 bucks and make $440. That's a nice trade. It's not like these trades are on for weeks and months and years. They're on for a day or two days. These things all move this week. Call to move this week. Q puts 175, 67, could still be in it. 150 cost, four contracts, risk $600, sold 250. Again, risk 600, sell it for what? 400. It, that's funny. Do you see how you chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it? It's not about taking a trade and holding it forever and ever and ever, and you certainly don't have to hold it out till close to the expiration. You take it and you make money. And even if you have a big account, I think it's important to make money. Constantly, 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 constantly booking money. That's your goal as an active trader, okay? Whether you have a big account or a small account, you're not a long-term investor if you're an active trader. And the way I'm calling these trades, boom, 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 I mean, I'm like a machine lately calling trades, and they're all working too. These are all these are all winners. The Google puts strike 1120. This worked too. 531 expired Friday. Risk 550. One contract could have sold it for 15 bucks. Profit a thousand. These Googles, Amazon, Z stocks can move. Netflix, another nice one. You could still be in it. 350 puts. Risk 525. One contract 525. Sold it for 820, 295 bucks. That's a good trade. One contract, you could have made almost $300. Amazon puts was the 1800s, 531. Risk for one was 700. Sold 12, profit 500. Again, one trade in, out, in, out. Then the Google puts 1097.50. This gap down the following morning. I've just had such a good eye for all these calls. Uh, here's the chart. You can see where it gapped down. Uh, one contract was 700 bucks, sold 12.50, profit 550. And Ulta, this one, 310, expired Friday. Could have called this out longer. This one just did not work out right. It fell quick here. I'm just showing you here. This is a daily chart. This was a loser this past week. Fell, dropped, had the tail, didn't fall through lower, flipped around, never went back down. You, when, if you took it, you saw right away it wasn't following through. You could have killed it. Uh, you could have bought it for six and killed it at one or killed it, killed it before that even. It just didn't go back down around. So the Ulta was a loser this week. And then cost 235. This did work as a day trade. And uh, here this tail, but this tail had room to play it out. Fell, boom, fast, and had a really big move in here. Enough time you could have done the trade and gotten out with profit. And if you're still in this, actually, this could continue lower if the market's lower next week. But anyways, this was one where it was just a really big move, really quick and really fast in the, into the open. Uh, 350 cost, 490, two contracts. Again, 280 bucks if that's your risk. 700, 280 dollars is a good trade if it happens and you book the money in five minutes. So here's all the trades. Beginner, beginner risk this is, okay? Apple Spy, Diamonds Qs, Diamond Spy, BA Qs, Google, Netflix, Amazon, Google, Alta was the only loser and cost. So 13 winners, one loser, 93% win ratio. So average risk per trade was 600 because some were a little bit less than 600, some were 700. Um, it depends on the cost of the option. Again, you have to have a range, but I wouldn't stray outside the range. Like don't double your risk. Total profits with this risk, if you had a beginner risk in this past week, a 93% win ratio, if you did all the trades, 13 winners and one loser, you could have made 6,640 bucks. Okay, that's fantastic. Fantastic, and that's one week of taking my calls in the Gap Options newsletter. It's really important to be at your desk in the morning. I could call the trades in the pre-market, but you don't take them until the morning. I could call them in the afternoon. I could call them in the late morning. You, the, the trades go to your emails, okay? So you have to go to your email, check your email during the day, it's, it's really important though, if I call a trade and you do a trade on, if, I, if you take it on a Thursday and you have to get up on a Friday morning to see where your trade is at, where this chart is at, where the stock is at, 
because some of these moves, in fact, a lot of these moves, then gapped into the move. So then they were profitable in a big way right into the open. So you had to be at your desk to make sure you, you watch the trade then or got out into the open. So it's important to be able to focus in the morning, I think, okay, if you're doing these. Um, but the trades could come any time of the day. But that beginning part of the day, the first hour part of the day is important in what I do. If you want to learn the system, you would take the Golden Gap course, okay, and you would take the Golden Gap course and learn my system from me. It's a rating system. That is how I'm calling the trades. I get up in the morning, my process is I rate the gap, and then I call the trades, day trades, options, whatever we're doing that particular day. So if you want to learn my method, you learn it in the Golden Gap course. The class for June is June 8th and 9th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. It could be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. Again, it is very, very important to understand what to do if you want to trade. I had some woman that called me the other day. She's taking just, you know, horrible trades uh, based on things she's seen online, following aimless people, doing ridiculous things, and she has a decent amount of money in her account. I, She's going to lose it. She's going to lose it all because she doesn't have a strategy, doesn't have a system, isn't following anyone, and quite frankly thinks she's going to learn how to trade by watching YouTube videos. You will never learn how to trade watching YouTube videos. You won't even learn how to trade watching all my YouTube videos, and I have over a thousand online. If you watched them all, you wouldn't learn what I know. The only way to learn what I know and my system and my method to be consistently profitable is by taking my class, period, end of story. And the Golden Gap course is the class you're gonna learn it. Now, if you wanna join the Lime Trading Room, you have to do the class in order to join. If you wanna take, uh, if you want to do the options, the options letter is $49.99 a year. It's for one year you get all the trades. There's no prerequisites for that, but you're not gonna learn the system. You wanna learn the system, and understand it and be in the day trading room, you have to do the class, okay? So I do the class once a month. It is so important before you risk money in the market to learn what to do. I am shocked how people don't understand that and people think they can make money just watching videos. And that I'm never surprised when people whine about how much money they've lost in the market. And the crazy thing is people will take $50, $100, $200, $300, $50, $50 but it all adds up. A lot better to take one quality trade risking 600 bucks and turn it around and make 1200 okay? And even though there's a cost to my tuition, you're paying me for my time and to learn the information for something that you can use for the rest of your life. One of the reasons I've called the market so accurately, and this past week was no exception, uh, because all of these puts except for one worked, and that had nothing to do with the market. That Alta had absolutely nothing to do with the market. That was an earnings gap that just didn't work. But all the other trades worked because I accurately read the market. I read it so well that the market gapped down after the day after I called many of these trades. It was a really, really, really nice week. And I know how to read the market well, which is challenging and difficult for people, even that have been trading for 100 years, because I read gaps. And so this system is very useful. It's very useful no matter what you do. Anything that gaps, you can utilize a system, but specifically the U.S. stock market. So hopefully everyone had a great week, too. And if you're interested in signing up for the class, again, it's June 8th and 9th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day.